What's up, everybody? This is Tasteless over here, bringing you another game of Battle Aces uh, by Uncapped Games. They were nice enough to send me a couple of games to cast. This is David Kim again in first person here, uh, going up against Stefan. Now, real quick, at the top of the screen, you'll see a timer counting down. If that gets to zero and neither player has killed each other off, the player that's mined the most resources wins. Um, in this game, it looks like both players are going for a fast expand. David Kim a second ago pulls up the uh, unit cards for each player. That shows him what he can choose to tech into based off the uh, unit selections he made before the game started, as well as what his opponent's unit tech can be. Right now, he's going to make, uh, or sorry, he's made five blinks coming out here. Blinks, just like the StarCraft II Stalker blink, these units can blink in and then blink right back out. So very microable. As he moves in, he sees that his opponent has taken a third base. Um, and the gunbots are going to come down. So this is the starting unit that his opponent in the red has gone for. The gunbots have an ability to both speed up their movement as well as their firing rate. Uh, but it's on a cooldown, so you need to be very careful and precise about when you use it. So a little back and forth here in the middle of the map. Uh, coming up here, either David Kim has to push through and crush this third base position, or he needs to expand himself, because he's going to get too far behind. But right now, some pretty decent micro on both sides. Uh, we did get notified that uh, enemy tech is about to level up here, so new units are going to be available in a second here. Um, by the way, the lose conditions for the game are, as if, uh, are if your starting building has been destroyed. Um, so you could try to kamikaze and dive all the way into the main, but you could risk an overextension and the whole game could backfire. Um, for now, we have a late third base here for David Kim. Just trying to get uh, a little bit of catch up here. And as that is about to finish up, the fourth base in the bottom right side of the minimap here has started for red. So for the time being, it does feel like he's in a little bit of a delayed position. We now have Crusaders coming up. These units are extremely good versus the gun bots. Uh, when they're bunched up like this, they can go right up in the front. They do splash damage. They are wiping this position out. It does look like one Crusader is getting pulled over to the side here and ending up damaging um, that resource mining location. But the Blinks are doing enough. He's completely zoned him out. And now he can try to dive onto this position. You can see the Crusaders uh, uh, also do quite a bit of damage to structures. Gets the damage, runs right back out. It's now three base versus three base because Red still has this bottom right position that we're taking a look at now. As I say that, though, it looks like the Crusaders are going to be uh, fractioned off from the army and sent down there while the Blinks are going to stay back and try to defend. Another unit added to the mix for the time being here is going to be these Shockers. This is going to make it a lot tougher for these Blinks to deal with. Uh, they do quite a bit of damage, and it's going to be an uncomfortable position where you can't really blink in or blink back out without losing a lot of stuff. And with the Crusaders not here, well, they take this base out now, and so they're going to come back. So we're actually back to two base versus two base. Uh, I should note that when your expansion is destroyed in this game, the workers are destroyed as well. Um, but it's much quicker to kill workers and easier to kill workers than it is to focus fire down a building. The push is coming in. The Crusaders are a little bit far away. They're also a little bit low on HP, and so he decides to sack his natural expansion. He's going to pull back in over here. Looks like he's just waiting for his tech to finish up. And he's going to uh, pull in some snipers. So the snipers can actually shoot these shockers down, as well as a couple of destroyers I'm seeing here as well, without them being able to be engaged with. So a pretty tough sacrifice, but now he's managed to win that fight. And it looks like he's going to try to swing it. Now keep in mind, this is one base versus two base. So right now, you know, there's way more of an income here for the red player. But he's going to try to push out regardless. I don't see a new expansion. Oh, I beat me to it. I'm sorry. I just now see a new expansion started over at the natural. But it's going to take a while to populate that with workers. And for now, we got to see, can David Kim actually come in here and do the damage he needs to do? Or has Red already basically prepared? And this is going to be a wash. He's coming forward now. A couple of destroyers in the back. These snipers are coming up. You can see they're not very fast units. So he's going to try to commit over here, maybe try to take advantage of the surface area behind this. But we've got some Falcons now coming down here. Uh, now, the sniper unit, I did not get to play with this unit in the build, so I'm not clear if it can actually hit air or not, but clearly unable to take that fight. It seems like the sniper is slow enough that if you overextend, you're going to be very, very badly punished. 
And so it's two base versus two base, but we don't have any workers really soaking up those resources at the second base just yet. Heavy hunters are being produced, most likely as a response to the Falcons that we saw that shut down that sniper blink push just a few minutes, uh, just a few seconds ago, excuse me. So workers are now at this natural expansion, and I don't see a third base started yet on the minimap here for red. The problem is that at this point in time, you know that um, our player over here, uh, David Kim, is, is going to be behind. So it's a little bit tough. He decides to push out again, maybe hoping that he can hit right as a third base would start. And he's going to continue to try to edge in. Oh, but look on the minimap. It looks like there's a counterattack coming down here. Smart move. He comes right in at that natural expansion. He's going to send some of those, I believe, blink hunters over there on the right to try to take that position. Uh, in a counterattack, and they're going to get there. But again, that expansion's been mining this whole game, and now there's a push into the main. He's going to come down. He's got to be careful. If he, if he targets down this building, this game is just going to end. He comes at a pretty good angle, and he's really... Uh, there was excellent timing there with those Crusaders to pop out and help with the surround. The natural expansion's going to go down. He's going to try to go into the main, but... I don't know, man. This is a lot. I think that there's no way that he can hang on. The, the amount of units is overwhelming. And that looks like that is going to be it. He concedes. GG. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, join me for more videos like this in the future on my YouTube channel. And um, I hope to see you in a future video. Bye-bye.